she I get this phone call from her saying um yeah I'm going to do President Clinton's inauguration do you want to come and you know accompany me and you know, yeah okay <laughs> why not <laughs> yeah yes <laughs> <laughs> um it turns out this is her first live show in 27 years so basically uh, since we last worked with her <laughs> yeah so this is 1993 i think and she is doing her first live show in 27 years and so i have for president clinton's inauguration concert and i say right so we start rehearsing i have to go to 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 washington dc and it's me and bill ross bill ross in conducting i'm doing all the keyboard stuff and everything else and then there is a pickup band to go with this and then we discover that actually this is happening in the uh in the twenty thousand seat arena um and this is the point i have to tell you that that was my first gig um, really <laughs> I never played gigs. I always just record, even when I was 13, when I started work, I was working well, at home. But to be fair, I mean, the shows we did in Vegas were technically live shows. And what year was that? That would have been 90, was that Four, before? 95. And, but that happened after, but so that happened after. Yep, yeah, so the inauguration, this is what happened is I did the inauguration with her, some of it live, some of it with some sequencing in there. And she enjoyed herself so much. Right. She then said, hey, you know what? Maybe I can do another live show. And then MGM were opening the MGM Grand. Yeah, yeah. And she said, well, maybe I could do that. So <laughs> we did the MGM Grand, which is where you and I saw each other again at the MGM yeah. Grand. And that was a combination of live. Uh, you know, I was using some sequencing and some live stuff and everything else, but it was a full show. Yeah. And she had so much, and that was for New Year's Eve, whatever, 94, 95, 96, yeah. maybe something like that. Anyway, no, she had, and she enjoyed that so much because there were 20,000 people cheering and enjoying it. it. New Year's Eve, 95, actually. 95, anyway, yeah. Whatever. And um, they said, oh, maybe I could go on tour. <laughs> so I, I did that first comeback tour with her, which was my first and only tour. Wow. Which I I understand why I don't do live music. There are some people for whom that idea of playing the same song again and again uh, is great. Uh, I don't get that. I don't get the buzz from it the same way. I'm much, oh, okay, it's great. The audience goes, cheer. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. But I that same song going through your head, feelings, you know, whatever. It was it, every single, every, you know, all of these things would just keep going through the night. And I don't do that. I like the fresh challenge. I like the fact that uh, so if you look at my career through everything, I've, one of the things is I have the curiosity gene and I'm always looking for something else to do, um, probably to my detriment to some degree. But the point was that I did the one tour and that was enough. I was never going to do another tour. You know, it's just not me. I love the studio. I love the whole creative process that happens when you're creating it in de novo in the beginning i don't like the repetitive stuff i don't life stuff just doesn't do anything.